gonna do a quick uh, unboxing review video here at the shop. Um, my brother just picked up a, a Wrangler, another Wrangler, uh, about a week or two ago, and was not thrilled with the tires it had on it. So it had the, the OEM wheels, which, you know, are fine, but it had these, these like all seasons on it. You know, it looked like just basically big car tires. And it just didn't look right on the on the Rubicon. So he was looking for tires and ended up finding wheels as well. So that's what we're we're checking out here. So while looking around, he came across these wheels made by Warren. Um, you know, the winch people, the hub people. And they are jackhammers. So Warren Jackhammer um, is the model. They're five by five is the bolt pattern, so five by uh 127. Um, they're 17 by eight and a half with a zero offset. Um, the center bore is 71.5. So, I mean, you're, if you look at the, the material where these are listed, they're marketed directly towards, you know, newer Jeeps. On the box, on the package, it says gloss graphite as the color, as the finish. But in the, like for this part number, 106, six nine zero um they are marketed as gunmetal so that was kind of weird right all the when you buy gunmetal um versions of this wheel but the box actually says gloss graphite but there's same exact thing um so these are the wheels he bought five um he ended up finding a set of uh bf goodrich um ko2s and the size he is going with is uh see it there 285 75 r17s so he actually found these um they're used someone bought them put them on their jeep just for a couple couple thousand miles and did not like them um so basically sold them got rid of them so they're they're like new they the little the little nubbies are still on them um and everything but uh it's pretty cool and he got five and uh, he got five of the uh, the wheels as well. So we're gonna open this up and take a look. Um, I think he, he already cut the tape. So what do we have? So they're boxed. They have plastic on them. You know, pretty typical. It's got this fabric like cover and this little piece of plastic to protect the uh, lip of the wheel. It was kind of funny. He couldn't, um, like, Jegs and Summit didn't have these in stock. They were like a couple of weeks back order before they'd be delivered. A couple of our local shops were like, oh, we don't, you know, can't get them, don't know what they even are. And he ended up just going on like Amazon and got them like in a day. <laughs> so. This is the wheel, so it's pretty cool. I don't know, I think it's pretty neat. I think it's a good looking wheel. Um, it's a nice finish. I mean, the finish is immaculate on them. Um, yeah, whether or not you're a fan of the fake, right? So these are fake on the outside. They're just decorative. It's not like it's a multi-piece wheel or anything. So this, was, this is located underneath the wheel. Um, they are, tire pressure monitoring system uh, compatible. So if you wanted to keep the factory TPMS um, system, you can. And then this is kind of cool. This is the center cap. Um, the center cap though, looks like the old worn locking hubs, right? So it's kind of um, supposed to be a you know, homage to the worn locking hubs. It's a good looking center cap. Um, one of the things I like about the center cap is it uh, doesn't cover the lugs. So if you look at the design again, um, the actual lugs go here and the center cap doesn't cover this. So the center cap sits in between um, and just covers the, uh, the uh, hub there. But yeah, the finish is gorgeous on them. Um, 
This is, again, the gunmetal. I believe they come in a couple other finishes, like black. Um, it's, it's not the lightest wheel. Um, I've seen some people say there are 27 pounds. I think on their website, though, they're advertised as 24 and a half pounds or 24.4. But I think someone measured them and said they're closer to 27. Um, but kind of a cool looking wheel. So we're gonna, he's going to get the... Uh, the tires mounted on them and his his jeep is bone stock it's he bought it used but it's uh he got it a week or so ago and uh just really wanted to do something about the wheels because it, they just the tires that were on it just did not do uh did not do it any justice but um it's a good looking wheel i mean i if you're into into this sort of thing um i know like i said some people get all bent out of shape when you have you know decorative rivets or bolts or anything like that um, but there it is so here's the fitment yeah. 285 75 17s that my brother found actually on marketplace it needs a they don't rub everything fits but it does need to go up a little if you look, it's a little low in the front. Still level it off. Fitment. 